Hey, Tommy from The Run Testers. In this video, I'm going to be doing a first run review of the New Balance Hiero 8. I know I'm gonna get some comments on my pronunciation of that word, so please feel free to comment and tell me that I'm wrong. Right, let's dive in and see what I thought of the shoe on our first run. The New Balance Hiero V8 costs £140 or $149.99. It weighs 283 grams or 10 ounces for men in size 8 and the drop is 6 millimetres. The Aero V8 is a trail shoe designed to be both comfortable and accessible. Like New Balance's 1080 road range, the Hiero is a shoe built for ticking off miles with a good balance of comfort, stability and cushioning. The foam used in the midsole is a modified version of the Fresh Foam X found across many of the brand's trail and road shoes. In this iteration of the shoe, it's slightly softer than the previous version to improve the ride. The outsole features a healthy layer of vibrant rubber to protect the midsole and improve grip on varied conditions with 4mm lugs to tackle lighter trails. The upper is a breathable, lightweight, close-knit engineered mesh that aims to protect the feet from off-road obstructions without being unnecessarily bulky. So the fit for me in the Hiero, very, very comfortable. I'm a size eight in the UK. I found this to be nice and roomy in the forefoot, plenty of space, um, very comfortable in the midfoot as well. Um, this does come in, I think, two different uh, extra width sizes, so wide and extra wide. So it's a shoe designed for everyone and I'll talk about why that is in a minute. Uh, one thing I would say about the shoe is that I did have a problem with the tongue. The tongue's uh, not gusseted, so it does move around and the combination with these laces. These laces are really, really hard to get a lockdown fit on the shoe. So the combination of the tongue and the laces can make it a bit fiddly to get a lockdown fit. Once you've got it, it's quite comfortable, but it is. there's a slight problem with the design of, of, of those parts of the shoe. Other than that, I would say stay to your size in the Yero 8. <laughs> So I've actually done a couple of runs in this shoe so far. The first one was a very, very muddy run um, up in Cumbria. Um, and what I found about it on that run is that it's not a shoe designed for extreme conditions. So the mud on the run that I was on it was really, really slippy. It, I really needed some big lugs um, to, to tackle that. This shoe is not a shoe designed for really extreme conditions ground so if you're running on sloppy boggy ground slippy ground this is not a shoe that is designed for that this is very much a entry level road to trail shoe it's very very much a um a shoe that can be used for road as well it's probably a shoe that is designed for people that maybe are looking for their first trail shoe they're not going to be doing really tough terrain they're not going to be running up mountains they're not going to be going through really muddy um horrible cross-country type stuff it's really just for those sort of gravel paths those hardened forest paths things like that where you do want some grip on the outsole and you do want a bit more protection but really it's a shoe that can quite comfortably just go to road and you you would think it's a road shoe basically it's essentially the road equivalent to something like the 1080 uh, v 14 something like that where it's a shoe that is meant to be very balanced you can um, pick it up quite easily it's very comfortable to wear all those sorts of things um, the other run that i did in this shoe was a uh, 10k which was around hardened forest paths basically it wasn't very muddy it was dry um, and it was that's the perfect place to use it essentially um there was it was it was just a, a little bit um, worse than running on road basically so it was a little bit softer I didn't need a lot of traction on the shoe for all that and it felt fine I felt very comfortable felt like a road shoe delivered like a road shoe and did the job very nicely so what I would say about this shoe is that uh, I tested the seven out uh, last year and what I said about that shoe is that it's, it was quite a clunky shoe it it it, it doesn't feel like a particularly versatile shoe. Um, it felt quite heavy and the midsole for me was quite dense and I didn't really enjoy running in that shoe that much. It was comfortable, it was fine, you could use it for running. Most people, people would be very happy with it. But the problem for me is that it just didn't really, just didn't feel like it gave me a lot. It didn't feel like I could pick up the pace in it um, and it just felt a bit clunky on the feet. The um, version 8 is a big improvement actually. The foam that has been used, Fresh Foam X, has been tweaked and it feels a bit softer, feels more comfortable. The shoe actually was a little bit uh, more nimble on the feet for me, so it's definitely an improvement on the previous version of the shoe. Other things about the shoe, I like the upper, I think it's quite comfortable and breathable, I didn't have any issues with it out on the run. Um, the outsole, not a big fan of. Um, the outsole is fine, but as I said, not for anything that is 
technical or, or muddy or wet or anything like that. Um, and I would say that it's not a particularly versatile shoe either. It's more versatile than the previous version of the shoe, but it's really a shoe that's designed for people that are hitting light trails, basically, and some of that is probably on road. Probably the best example would be if you are a park runner and you run on some park runs that maybe go off road a little bit, maybe on paths that are not particularly well designed for using road shoes, this would be a good option. It gives you a little bit of extra grip on those surfaces, uh, but really on the road sections, you're gonna be feeling like you're running in a 1080 or something like that. It's very much a accessible road to trail shoe that most people will get, be very comfortable with probably say that if you are a runner and you've never run on trails before and you're thinking oh maybe i need something for some light trails this would be absolutely fine maybe you've run in the 1080 before or something like that and you want a, a trail version of it that you can use that is nice comfortable has a similar fit to that shoe and does all the things that you expect from that shoe and you're probably running a little bit to the trails as well this is a great shoe for it very comfortable and um just does the job of a road shoe with a little bit more grip Okay, so my early verdict of the New Balance Hero V8 is that it's a solid all-rounder rotor trail shoe. It's not going to amaze anybody who is doing tricky terrain. It's not a design for people who are maybe seasoned trail runners that are, are running long distances and want something that's going to have loads of grip on it, loads of really hard reinforced sections on the shoe to protect them from the outdoors and the debris that can come into the shoe. It's really for those people that are dabbling in trails, maybe just want lighter stuff on nice hardened trails, forest paths, um, public footpaths, things like that, where you're not gonna need any extra assistance from the shoe. As soon as you start doing that, this shoe's probably gonna cap out and you're gonna find it a little bit slippy on um, wet mud or anything like that. Um, and the grip just isn't really good enough for any technical terrain. But anything other than that, like those park runs where you might be running off road at some points, lovely shoe, very comfortable delivers like a road shoe, you're not gonna be surprised. Some trail shoes, if you've never run in a trail shoe before, may feel a bit weird. Um, the outsoles tend to be a lot harder than the midsoles. Um, so they can be a little bit hard to get your head around if you're not used to running on uh, running with trail shoes. This is a great entry level version of uh, a road shoe that you can get and you go, yeah, I know how to run in this, very comfortable um, and it does the job. It does have a Vibram outsole as well. Uh, the Vibram outsole is good at gripping on wet ground, but not wet slushy ground. So if you're running along paths or footpaths or anything like that and it's a bit wet, it's a nice level of grip for flat surfaces basically that are wet but it's, it's not designed for doing anything technical at all. That's it from me on this first run review of the New Balance Hiero V8. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that little bell. And if you're going to catch me below, you can come into our podcast, which comes out a couple of times each month. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time.